Good afternoon. I'm Abe Halu, Dean of the College of Business and Public Management. Welcome to the University of Laverne 2021 Virtual Commencement Ceremony, celebrating our spring 2021 graduates from the College of Business and Public Management. We acknowledge our 130th year as an institution and thank you for joining us today virtually from the Abraham Campus Center in our Laverne campus. Our ceremony is being live streamed all over the world to family, friends, and faculty of our graduates over the internet. Welcome to all of you. I'm thrilled to announce that 560 candidates were approved for degrees from the spring 2021 class. We gather today as a community to honor and celebrate the accomplishments of all of our graduates. Our candidates have taken their degree work from the Laverne campus, our regional and online campuses. Please join me in welcoming our distinguished stage participants, our president, Dr. Devorah Lieberman, university chaplain, Reverend Zandra Wagner, and our student commencement speaker, Ms. Jessica Murray. Joining over 87,000 alumni, proudly we present our doctoral, master, baccalaureate, and associate candidates from the College of Business and Public Management at the University of Laverne Spring 2021 Virtual Commencement Ceremony. It's now my pleasure to invite Reverend Zandra Wagner, University Chaplain, to the podium for the invocation. I have the honor of blessing this special day. First, I want to acknowledge that our university sits on the sacred traditional land of the Tongva community. Our educational community is sustained by this sacred ground. For today's blessing, I invite you to feel your own feet and your own body anchored on the ground, wherever you are. This past year has required us to reach down and build deep roots. We've had no choice but to build roots of resilience and patience, roots of empathy and courage, and roots of community and connection. The book of Jeremiah, a sacred text from the Jewish tradition, says it this way, those who have deep roots, they are like trees planted along a riverbank with roots that reach deep into the water. Such trees are not bothered by the heat or worried by long months of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruit. On this special day of celebration and accomplishment, let us be thankful for the roots that have gotten us here. Graduates, as you continue on your journey, may you be blessed with the deep roots of your education, your family, your traditions, and your values, so that life's struggles are balanced with wisdom and joy. May you be blessed with deep roots so that your leaves stay green and we can celebrate your unique beauty and goodness in this world. May you be blessed with deep roots so that you never stop producing good fruits of love and healing so needed by this world. And may you be blessed with the deep roots that connect you with all others who share the same ground so that we have each other and act with and for each other. May you be blessed with deep roots. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Zag Wagner. It's my pleasure to introduce our trustee welcome video presented by board member Wendy Lau with a special message on behalf of the University Board of Trustees. Welcome graduates of the class of 2021. While this year may be different than past years, we are no less proud of you for all that you've done and all that you've accomplished to get to this moment. 
My name is Wendy Lau, and I'm on the Board of Trustees for the University of Laverne, as well as an alumna of this fine institution. On behalf of the trustees, the faculty, the administration, and the staff, we are so proud of you and congratulate you on these achievements. We know that you have gone through so much more than has been expected of any other class, and we are so proud to be able to celebrate this day with you. Please take a moment, savor each and every second of this graduation, and know that we are so proud to welcome you into the Leo alumni family and look forward to all the amazing things you will continue to accomplish throughout your lives. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you, Trustees Lau. <clears throat> it's now my honor to invite to the podium Dr. Devora Lieberman, a nationally known leader and educator. She is the 18th president of the University of Laverne, who will preside over today's ceremony. Thank you very much, Dean Helu. And um, I just would like to take a moment to thank you, Dean Helu, for your leadership in the College of Business and Public Management and across the entire university and for being my colleague throughout your tenure as dean. I'm deeply appreciative, and the University of Laverne appreciates you profoundly. Thank you. And now, welcome to all of our students, our faculty, our staff, our families and friends who are part of today's commencement ceremony. It is my honor to be with you virtually as we celebrate you, the University of Laverne's graduating class of 2021. I'm looking at all of you in your Zoom rooms and I see you cheering, fabulous, yay. Today, though virtual, there remains an enormous feeling of joy and pride as we congratulate each of our graduates on your tremendous achievements at the University of Laverne and throughout your uh, college tenure. Before we get started, I would like to mention that more than half of the class of 2021 drove through campus uh, the last two weekends, picked up your gift boxes for commencement, and drove up to the top of the uh, parking structure, and it was just so wonderful seeing families and friends driving through campus uh, and beginning to repopulate post as we move through our pandemic. Others who are unable to attend and pick up your boxes, your gift box is in the mail right now. Don't run out to the front porch and see if it's there. Wait till after the commencement and then you'll open it and there'll be lots of wonderful uh, gift surprises. So enjoy those gifts. They are all compliments of the commencement and alumni engagement offices and teams. Enjoy those boxes. Graduates, though we are not all in the same physical space, we are all together in the same virtual space doing one thing. It's celebrating you and this milestone. However, this day also belongs to your loved ones, your families, your friends, your faculty and staff who have been with you every step of the way. So before we go any further in this commencement ceremony, I'd like you to look around your room where you are and join me in thanking and celebrating those who are with you, who are surrounding you today, uh, and just take a moment and say, I made it and thank you for helping me. I'll wait for just a minute while you do that with your friends and family. Yeah, I'm seeing you do that in your Zoom rooms. We have also several other people here, whether you know it or not, who have been instrumental in your success. Welcome to our Board of Trustees who have graciously joined us virtually. Our Board of Trustees, 32 members, are the ones who set the vision for our university, and they support us with their time, their wisdom, and financially. So please join me in recognizing them for their commitment and dedication to our beloved university. Thank you to the members of the board. 
Amid our social distancing and safety protocols, let's remember that today is dedicated to congratulating 1,327 students who are graduating from this class, the, the spring class of 2021, here at the University of Laverne. And at this time, when our world is steeped in ambiguity and uncertainty as we move through the pandemic, now is the time for all of us to embrace the optimism of our future. It's a focus, it's a time to focus on strength, on resilience, and on determination. So how do we do that? There is a quote by Jody Picoult, one of my favorite authors, that says, the human capacity for burden, it's like bamboo, tall, beautiful, beautiful graceful stalks of bamboo. These bamboo stalks are far more flexible than you would ever believe at first glance. I ask you now, graduates, take a minute, stop, be in this place, feel grounded, as Reverend Zandra Wagner said, and visualize a tall stalk of bamboo. Do you have that in your mind? We, as the University of Laverne community, are adapting, adopting, evolving, and we're bending just like bamboo in ways that we never thought possible. But let's not do this individually. Let's not do this alone. Let's do this as community together. We must each believe in our purpose as individuals, as a university, and as a community. The University of Laverne has embraced the mantra of we are one community because you cannot quarantine community. We truly are one community. So please join me in purpose as we believe in something bigger than ourselves, something larger that continues to inspire us to embrace the ambiguity, to bend and uh, to bend like the bamboo with strength and resilience for our future together. We are one community. Graduates, you are well equipped to thrive, not just survive, but to thrive as University of Laverne graduates, joining more than 87,000 alumni. You will continue to be our greatest strengths. The university will forever be an extension of you. We are your home. This is your time. Make every moment count. Think big, accomplish much, and always give back. Lead by example. I have confidence that each of you has a limitless capacity for positive contributions to this world and countless prospects to lead a productive and fulfilling life. Graduates, I look forward to seeing you in the near future, virtually and physically, as you walk across the stage at our June 12th rescheduled commencement ceremony. We understand the importance of this tremendous milestone. And today I am proud to call you esteemed alumni of the University of Laverne. And from this day forth, you will be Leos for life. Class of 2021, I stand here today before you completely in awe of what you've accomplished. Congratulations, each and every one of you. Cheers. Thank you, President Lieberman. And now it's my pleasure to introduce our welcome video presented by Provost Kirop Jano. Janoyan with a special message to our spring 2021 graduates. Hello, I'm Karib Janoyan, Provost of the University of Laverne. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to this commencement ceremony and to celebrate with you. We congratulate our graduates on their accomplishments and thank them for the many contributions they have made to the campus, the community, and the world at large in their time here. We anticipate with confidence the roles they will play 
and the contributions they will make in the future. We want to recognize and thank the families and friends who have gathered to join in the celebration. Education is never a solitary pursuit. We applaud all of you who have provided love and support to this wonderful group of graduates. And commencement is a day of double significance. It marks both the end of your studies and the beginning of a new phase in life. In your time at the University of Laverne, you have learned a great deal about yourself and your field, and we are confident you will use that knowledge a good purpose. You have developed skills in problem definition and problem solving that will serve you well in whatever work you undertake. The world in which you will live and work is sure to be different from the world in which you were born or raised, or even the world from just a year ago. Global pandemic, social, economic, and technological change have already altered what people do and how they do it. The habits of mind you have worked so hard to develop here will position you to be among the leaders in this changing world. You began your journey on a path of discovery when you came to the University of Laverne. The challenge and the opportunity before you as you leave is to remain curious, engage, and imaginative. Congratulations. It's now my distinct honor to introduce the College of Business and Public Management commencement speaker, Administrator Isabella C. Guzman. She is the 27th Administrator of the U.S. Small Business Administration and a member of President Joe Biden's Cabinet. She has spent her career advising entrepreneurs, launching ventures, helping small businesses navigate government, and creating policies and programs to help advance entrepreneurship and innovation. Most recently, she served as the Director of the California Office of the Small Business Advocate where she helps small businesses and innovative startups in the world's fifth largest economy. In addition, she served as the Economic Recovery Support Function Coordinator for the State of California, where she spearheaded the small business recovery effort during the COVID-19 pandemic. Please join me in welcoming Administrator Isabella C. Guzman. Hello, Leos, class of 2021. It is truly an honor for me to join you on your graduation from the University of Laverne. I remember my college graduation as one of the most gratifying and uplifting days of my life, a day of celebration and accomplishment. Thank you, President Deborah Lieberman, for inviting me here today. I appreciate your leadership and continuous commitment to advancing opportunity for your students and alumni. I'd also like to recognize Dean Ibrahim Halu, who is celebrating his last commencement as Dean of the College of Business and Public Management. Dean Halu has been a vital part of the university since 1993, and I know that his hands-on, student-focused leadership will be sorely missed but I'm glad to hear that he's going back to the classroom where students will continue to benefit from his guidance. To you, the graduates, and to the friends and family that have supported you on your journey, cheering you on, helping you, and motivating you to persevere and earn your degree, congratulations, congratulations to you all. Today marks a great accomplishment for you graduates. Cherish it and hold it close as a reminder of what you can do when you dream big. While the word commencement is used to describe a day that's an ending, a graduation, a culmination of your educational career, the actual definition of commencement is a beginning, a start, and today is a new beginning. It is a start. All the hard-earned steps forward, they all led here to this launch into your future. The world is yours. The possibilities are endless. Your ULV education gives you the skills and expertise you need to follow your chosen path and the resilience to get back on track when the inevitable steps backward or sideways happen. Like many of you, I grew up in Southern California. My father launched my family's small business when I was a baby right there on Whittier Boulevard in East LA. He later expands into locations in Montebello, Maywood, Linwood, and Huntington Park, not too far from Laverne. As I grew up, I loved tagging along with him to work. I eventually started working alongside him after school and on the weekends. 
I learned valuable lessons along the way that I carry with me today. Importantly, I absorbed the entrepreneurial mindset, the ability to be agile and learn continuously, the willingness to refine the path, adapt, and sometimes reimagine your dream to deal with ever-changing realities around you. The all-in approach to working hard and persevering regardless of setbacks. These lessons are replicated in millions of small businesses across the country, and it's these same lessons that got so many through the COVID-19 pandemic. Families pivoted and adapted to new realities of remote work and school. Businesses pivoted and adapted to shifting revenue models. Communities and institutions changed strategies to support new realities. That lesson of resilience is so valuable along whatever path you choose to take. Those core skills combined with confidence, the unwavering belief in yourself will get you far. And the fact that you are here today, newly crowned ULV graduates should infuse you with all the confidence and reassurance you need because after what you just accomplished, you are unstoppable. Remember that this degree is a distinction that you share with just over one third of the US population. Many of you have gotten here over great odds. That's a lifetime badge of honor and your gift from ULV. Confidence is critical to the pursuit of your dreams. I remember when my confidence was tested. I was a senior at a local public high school. I'll never forget the day my college counselor told me I didn't have a chance of getting accepted by my top choice. He told me to settle for a different option instead. But my confidence, my belief in myself, pushed me to work harder and prove him wrong. I was accepted by my top choice. And that college counselor, I became his most frequent lunch date. He had to come with me to all those local rotary clubs and chambers of commerce to accept the scholarships I won. The lesson I learned then was that the word no was inconsequential. What I believed about myself was the only thing that mattered. And that belief has stayed with me throughout my life, allowing me to keep learning, adapting, refining, and reimagining. I set out to prove assumptions about me wrong and blast the obstacles they created out of my path. And I know that tenacity is why I'm where I am today and how I earned the incredible honor of serving as the voice of America's 30 million small businesses and innovative startups and as the first Latina in President Biden's cabinet. I know you have that tenacity in you. That's what got you here. And I'm so excited at the possibilities that exist for us as a nation with all of you ready to sprint across Third Street and out into the world. Whether your path forward is as an entrepreneur, scientist, educator, lawyer, or whatever career you choose, I know you each will leave an indelible mark on this word, world. Know that along that journey, you are not alone. Find and connect to the people that believe in you and access the resources available to support you. Seek out programs, ask for help. I know firsthand that help is out there. I lead a federal agency with more than a trillion dollar lending portfolio that exists to support small businesses through recovery and growth, startup and scale. Many of the people who believe in you are right here in this incredible ULV community. One day you'll return the favor. There is no greater measure of success than service to others because it's not enough to achieve for yourself alone. Your community, your city, your state, your country are only as strong as you make them. Hopefully one day you will follow the path of public or community service, either as your career or through another part of your life. There's a future administrator of the U.S. Small Business Administration out there to help nurture and harness small businesses, our nation's most powerful economic force. I know it could be any of you. Today, we celebrate your story. Tomorrow, we support you and cheer you on as you commence your path forward. So go out there and seize the future you've been imagining since you first stepped onto a ULV campus. That future is now yours. Administrator Guzman, I know you're watching us from Washington, D.C., and I want to start by saying thank you for sharing your inspirational words with our 2021 graduates. And I remember so vividly sitting with you in my office here at the University of Laverne 
uh, being so profoundly impressed by what you are doing for this region and for the state of California. And now you're taking those skills to make our country better and being the first Latina in President Biden's uh, administration, you're the first, you won't be the last. We're so proud of you. Our students' lives have been transformed because of the work of Administrator Guzman. In recognition of her accomplishments, accomplishments her extensive career, and her leadership with civic and community engagement, Administrator Isabella Casillas Guzman is being presented with an honorary doctorate degree in humane letters. I have it right here. It is the highest degree issued at the University of Laverne. Administrator Guzman, or let me say, Dr. Guzman, Thank you for being a fierce advocate for small businesses and the unwavering work you do to support entrepreneurs in underserved communities throughout our country. Dr. Guzman, today you are a Leo for life. Thank you for being with us during this commencement ceremony. President Lieberman, it's my pleasure and privilege as Dean to present to you the candidates who have qualified in all respects for their respective degree program at the University of Laverne. They have been recommended by the faculty and confirmed by the Board of Trustees to be awarded appropriate degrees in recognition of their academic accomplishments. Thank you, Dean Hallou. With recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me as president by the Board of Trustees and the State of California, today, at this moment, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree for which you have qualified with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. We welcome each of you to the company of educated persons who are alumni of this remarkable university, the University of Laverne. It gives me great pleasure to, in to introduce the College of Business and Public Management student speaker, Jessica Murray. Jessica is graduating with her Bachelor of Science and Business Administration degree with departmental honors. She has overcome many obstacles to be where she is today. And through her educational journey, she ultimately found her passion in management and guest service. While attending the University of Laverne, she maintained a high GPA despite working two full-time jobs and raising her two-year-old son. After graduation, she looks to advance her career in human resources and management. She also looks forward to pursuing her passion for leadership and training by pursuing more advanced degree. The Amma Salam is for you, Jessica. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming Jessica Murray. Thank you, Dean Hallou. Appreciate it. People tend to ask you one thing once they found out that you graduated, whether it is from college, high school, or the training wheels coming off of your first bike. That thing is, what have you learned? I ask myself this question daily regarding all aspects of life. Graduation often leaves us with a mandatory reflection period the subconscious need to think about what our next steps are going to be. Where do I go from here? How do I find my career path? How do I succeed? The answer to success can be found in one eight letter acronym. Here it is, P-A-N-D-E-M-I-C. Yes, you heard that correctly, pandemic a word we have all come to know on an exceptionally negatively intimate level. P 
P stands for patience. Patience allows us to make decisions that may not be met with a simple yes or no answer. It keeps us from making irrevocable decisions. Patience allows us to keep an open mind, even when things seem most flummoxing and bewildering. A stands for adaptability. Adaptability is defined as the quality of being able to adjust to new conditions. In a world that is forever changing, mastering this trait will provide you a skill that most individuals cannot and will not express or accept. You must be willing to accept that some situations may not go your way. Adapt to the constant change. This next one is short and sweet for a reason. N stands for niceness. Being a nice person is easy. You'll always catch more flies with sugar than vinegar. Remember that. D is for determination. The incessant want for better, for more. Being determined will create opportunity for advancement in multiple aspects of our lives. Determination paves the way for success because without the drive to accomplish goals set out for us, by us, how can we possibly manage to achieve them? E is for empathy. Empathy, as we all have come to know, is the ability to put ourselves in another person's shoes. The capability of showing another human being that you can understand where they are coming from or how they feel will create structure and enhance our ability to lead others. Empathy will also bring us success because it improves our capacity to communicate with others around us. Empathy expedites cooperation, which is critical for teams to operate effectively. M is for motivation. Now I know I mentioned determination already, but in the words of executive entrepreneurial coach, Jamie Dorkey, motivation is what gets you started. Determination is what helps you finish what you started. To be a professional in terms of motivation, your personal actions must influence others to make principled, right-minded decisions. I stands for intuition. Intuition is the ability to trust your gut. Your intuition allowed you to continue on this path that led us all to the finish line. You could have quit. You could have walked away, but you didn't. Trust this instinct. It will never steer you in the wrong direction. And last, but most certainly not least, C stands for courage. Courage gives us the necessary push to make a change. Most of us are not comfortable with change, but courage has given us the ability to accept what we cannot change and to focus on what we can change. Courage allows room for personal growth and grants us the ability to spread our wings in this world and to take a leap of faith into the unknown that awaits many of us after today. I leave you all here today with this eight letter reflection. Whenever you find yourself unsure of what to do next, whenever you find yourself cross-examining and second-guessing absolutely everything happening around you, whenever you find yourself without purpose or direction, remember this word. Remember how it changed your life, whether it is for the fortunate or the unfortunate. Who knew that something so unbelievably tragic to humanity could end up providing a little bit of illumination and productivity. I never thought in a million years that something this calamitous and devastating could be flipped around to something constructive and pragmatic. To my fellow 2021 University of Laverne graduates, congratulations on such a monumental accomplishment. We did it. Jessica, congratulations to you. That was so inspirational. Um, I know that your family, your child is watching you so proud. And I personally will never think of the word pandemic in the same way you have changed my life today. Thank you so much.
and graduates. As you go forward today, I have two short pieces of advice that are my compass, my GPS north. First, in channeling Maya Angelou, uh, people may remember you or may not remember you for what you have accomplished. But I can guarantee you, people will always remember you for how you make them feel. Treat people with respect and with dignity and civilly. Second, believe in yourself and your goals. You'll, just like all of us, you'll trip, you'll fall down, you'll get back up. It is getting up more often than falling down that separates those who get to the finish line and those who don't. So no matter what, never, never, never give up on your goals. And finally, a tradition at commencement that symbolizes moving from candidate to graduate to alumni across the country and at the University of Laverne is moving your tassel on your mortar board. So all the graduates, I can see you in your Zoom rooms, get ready to move your tassel. But here at the university, we just don't move our tassel from the right to the left. We move our tassel from our head to our hearts. Because once you graduate, the University of Laverne will always be in your heart and you will always be in our hearts. So now please join me in moving your tassel from the right to the left, from your head to your heart. And now you are Leos for life. Congratulations. The upcoming alma mater video of our choir, led by Dr. Irene Mesalores, concludes our ceremony. Thank you, graduates, faculty, staff, board members, family, and friends for joining us today. Graduates, you are now proud members of our more than 87,000 alumni family worldwide. We hope that you proudly display your alumni license plate frame that was included in your grad gift box. Joy with